Are you traffic? Opinion holds number one. Number two, are you traffic? Opinion holds number one. Guys, carry it with me while I tell you things that I've seen in this Lagos. If you don't know, or if you don't know, it means you're not following me on Instagram. So go and follow me on Instagram right now. So if you're following me on Instagram, you know that I recently just moved to Lagos because I'm currently serving in Lagos. And the things that my eyes have seen, I've seen a lot of things, guys. The good, the bad, the jarring, the surprising. I've seen so many things. And I feel this video is very impromptu because I wanted to do my makeup. I was not like, let me just give you guys this gist. It's not a gist. It's kind of a gist. So let me just tell you guys the things that I've seen while I just do my makeup. So make sure you watch this video. And if you find anything entertaining, if you can relate to anything, go and connect with me in the comment section. Let me know. If you can relate it to the things that me I've used this my eyes to see in this Lagos, and this makeup is just going to be soft. Please, this is a disclaimer. I've not done makeup in a while, so I don't know if I'm still very good. So just in case, hand on me with care. Don't tell me that my makeup is not coming out right because it's real. So let's just start off immediately. I'm going to first of all prime my face. This is not a makeup tutorial. Let me say it again. I'm going to first of all prime my face. So, I have 10 things, I have 10 things that I jotted down, like I just jotted it down right now. That's how unplanned this video is. I, just, I was just like, wait, what are the things? And I jotted them down and somehow they came about to 10. So I'm going to list the 10 things for you. So the first thing that I've seen in this Lagos that it's not like I've not seen it, like I didn't see it in the East too, like I've not seen it elsewhere, but I think it's very prominent here, like it's very... It's very out there here and let me tell you this video is just for fun I'm putting a lot of disclaimers because if you come for me, you're not gonna like it. You understand? Okay, so this video is just for fun. It's my personal opinion. It's my personal experience If yours is different, that's fine. That's all right. If you don't think the same way, that's fine. That's all right We are not fighting but I am telling you that this is what me I've seen so do with it what you mean the first thing that I've seen it's nakedness, my dear. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, this is this is like I used to see these tweets before where people used to be like, like no matter how naked you think you are, eh, as long as you're in this league, somebody will out naked you. It is not a lie. That is so true. Oh my god, the amount of nakedness that I've seen, like people are like very comfortable in very <clears throat> provocative dresses and Here's my problem with these provocative dresses and all. This is just my problem with it. I'm saying this because myself, I'm not holy. It's not like I'm like I'm very innocent and I'm not guilty of wearing certain things. I am. But I feel it's kind of wrong for you to wear something that should be considered a lingerie to a mall, like to a shopping mall, it's like a supermarket that is close to your house, and you're dressed in very crazy and you know why i say very crazy is because i know that you know some of these places like you're interested in like a shopping mall or like a supermarket that is at your backyard these people that come there like you see families like husbands with their wives children you know coming to these places and you that you are the adult you're walking in wearing one kind of overly sexy almost slutty type of clothing and you wear it into these places and it's just weird like I, it's just so weird <laughs> I just can't place my hands on it but it just ah <laughs> I see it and the first thing that just comes to my mind you know this the song that they do for you <laughs> that's what used to come to my mind when I see this type of thing my makeup I'm talking is just something that I find ah so difficult I don't even know let me try to draw my eyebrow first because I will just keep talking and I'll forget that this is supposed to be a get ready with me and if I'm not getting ready it's just a video of me ranting about the things I've seen in this Lagos so I'm, we're not going to make it about that so let me draw my eyebrow I just want to shape the eyebrows in like not necessarily do anything major just follow the shape of my eyebrows and just shade it so still on the nakedness matter you know, that's like the first thing that I saw when I came here and I was like, what's going on? Why is everybody almost naked? Why are you very, very, ah, 
like I used to see nakedness, like I've seen nakedness before, but the nakedness I've seen around there, like I'm going to put up pictures of like the kind of the kind of crazy nakedness that I've seen around there. And if you dare, okay, no, let me not say this one because you can decide to hear what you want at the beach, but it's fine, no. Just like I said, this is my opinion. The yours is different. It is fine. I just feel some things are just a little bit too much. They're just, they're just too much, actually. Yeah. I think I shaped my eyebrows well. So when we're talking about nakedness, let's also talk about something very important that I've seen, and it's tattoos. And I like tattoos. I do. Like I used to like. I used to be like just wait, like get a certain amount of money. Like once I just hit a certain amount of money, you know that. Let me f you money. Let me just say that that type of money that once you get it, you don't put another person saying does not concern you, and I will go even if I will just draw small. I write there's one particular name I call God. I'm going to write it. I used to be like I'll, I might write my name or something, but I like tattoos. Like I used to see tattoos and be like, oh my god, they're so fine, they're so cute. But ever since I came here, I don't like tattoos again. They don't they are not finding my eyes again because I see some tattoos and I'm like, I'm not doing my makeup. I see some tattoos and I'm like, there is no way you pay the person that did this thing. Like, like if you try that kind of thing, my body, you are the one that will pay me for damages. Like you will pay me for destroying my skin. There is no way you pay the person. Like some of them I see them and it just feels like I don't know if you did this thing when you were a child. Like, did you go to like maybe like a particular place and then use um, cashew, you know cashew, put cashew inside fire and use it just like, did you, like, did you do that thing as a child? Not like I did it though, I'm asking, did you? That's the type of thing I used to say. <laughs> that's the kind of, that's how bad some of these tattoos that I see. Like they look hideous, I see them and like, you see somebody and the, the worst part, oh, I, I, this was not even among my list, but I'm talking now, I'm remembering, it's the bleaching. If you're bleaching your skin, you should not be applying it at all. You should. And another thing I need to, I, let me also say this. If you're a woman and you know that you still have plans of like carrying, getting pregnant, like carrying a baby, you know, going through motherhood, please don't draw tattoos on your stomach. Please don't. Don't draw them on your breasts. Don't. Don't do that because once you start bearing children, you're going to not like them anymore. Because it's mostly going to sag and it's, it's not like the shape you had if you do dragon the dragon will turn to a mouse or a rat <laughs> so don't do that so honestly so it's not like i'm trying to judge or trying to say that tattoos are bad or they are ugly i don't think so i really don't think so so maybe i don't know if it's where they are getting it done or it's the same thing eh? i feel tattoos is the same way like like surgery if you're deciding to get any work done on your body, or you're deciding to do any type of cosmetic, anything, or any authoring thing, something that is kind of permanent, because it's recently that removed that thing is now feasible. Do it's also very painful, very hard. So most people they would prefer sort of them to actually go and remove a tattoo. They would rather draw something on it or draw like try to transform the tattoo into something else. Instead of you doing that to yourself, go to a better place. Like try to or wait, wait till you have the money and you can afford to get the type of tattoo that you want. You can afford to get it how you want to get it. Then you can get it because all those type of things that I'm saying, ah, huh, they are not looking very nice. Though. They are looking very, 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 very bad. So I would not, <laughs> I will not tell you. If I see them, I'm like, oh my god, this is like just after they finish joining the statue, you're supposed to go and arrest the person first. Let the person be cooling down this one police station why they are explaining what they did to you I, you're never supposed to pay for the kind of tattoos i've seen here so i don't know if i'm the only one who has seen this or i'm just judging maybe i'm judging <laughs> maybe i'm just a judgy person maybe but i don't think i am i think I'm somebody i think no i think i'm actually very open to very to so many things so i don't think i'm being judged i think it's the things i'm seeing they are not nice this foundation is my exact shade but it is too i don't know you see i feel it makes my face darker but i'm going to highlight it with concealer let me see if it's better oh i i, I used to like it but i feel it makes my face look 
darker than it is, just. Mm. Or maybe it's my exact shade. I said it the first day that I got it until now I still feel the same way about it, so I don't know. Another thing that I've seen here is, oh my god, people in this city hustle. Ah, please leave hustle for people here. Like, leave, you know what? I think this place is a good place to be, especially if you're trying to be something. Because you might think maybe you're like living in one particular place and you think like you're the richest or you have a certain amount of money, like you've arrived. You know, you're feeling like a batago, <laughs> you have arrived. This place will kind of humble you, it will make you calm down and be like, oh my god, like I, th I thought this was it, but it's a lie. It's a lie, like I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere close. Okay, now, you know there's so many things to even consider. Some things I've also seen in this Lagos, I wanted to talk about, I don't even remember the house rent prices. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It is ridiculous. The prices that I've heard for house rent in this place is what we call ridiculous. Like, even in ridiculous, you see ridiculous locations, ridiculous places, and somebody will be calling millions for you, for the house. And they will call the price and they will remove face. Like, they are serious. They are not joking. They mean what they are saying. <laughs> They actually mean it. So somebody was um there's one tweet I saw the other day where the girl was saying that see the girl. Hi, but yes, it's a girl. I can't remember the person. She was saying that she was trying to get an apartment for her friend in Ikoi and she had her budget was like eight to ten million per year. This is rent. She's not buying house. I understand the economy is hard, but I feel these people are also extorting people for no reason at all. And the person that she, like the agent that she was meeting was like, when she's serious, that she's not serious. If she's serious to get a good place, she increased her money to around 15 million. I under, unless, eh, unless maybe you're earning like, per year, you're earning over 100 million, like 100 million, 120, 130. I feel it's ridiculous for you to be paying that amount in rent. If you're earning like, if you're earning like 20 million and you're paying 10 million in rent, it is crazy. It is mad. <laughs> what the good demand? It is mad. It is not it's not the normal thing that you'll be doing that. So please uh, that's also one thing. And another thing that I've seen here are the fine girls. This place has fine girls. Eh? They like to call themselves baddies, but me I will say fine girls. There are a lot of fine girls in this. Like you think you're fine, come and see fine girls. Like they are fine girls. I understand when the men are like they are tired. They don't know. Like if you think you've seen the, the highest fine girl, just take a look around. You see more fine girls joke. Like there are a lot of fine girls. There are a lot of fine girls in this place. Like even me that I'm a girl, I'm telling you that there's a lot of fine girls. Like I've seen, I've seen babes or babes, like fine girls. Pretty, pretty girls. So if you're maybe it's girls that you're looking for, looking for hot girls, they are here. Come and see them, like they are everywhere <laughs> in this place. So that one. A lot of fine girls. A lot of fine girls. Hot, hot girls. Hot girls. They don't play. They don't play at all, at all, at all, at all. Another thing that I've noticed is the culture here is very diverse, like very, very, very there are different people from different locations, different parts of the world, be it white men, even like in Nigeria here, people from like different parts, rivers, from the east, from the north, like just different, different people from different parts of the world, they are here. <laughs> they are here, like they are all here waiting for you <laughs> they're just here so it's no i don't think it's a, even though it's it's a predominant like yoruba speaking city because i think yes it's a predominant yoruba speaking city still people from different parts of the world come to settle maybe because they're looking for greener pasture or like trying to like get to you know do certain things with their life i don't understand but there are diverse cultures here, diverse people, different people, different types, like different anything that you're looking for, different types, whether they are sane people, responsible people, mad people, so many of that they are around. So just look in the right places and you see them. Like just position your eyes on the right places and you see them where they are. Oh okay. 
Another thing that baffles me in this place is the salon prices. Oh my god, if you're a girl and you recently moved to this place, tell me I'm not mad. Because they think I'm mad when I shout and when I talk and when I'm complaining. The salon prices is just crazy. Like, maybe because I am moving from the east to this place. But I feel so... Okay, and then they make this excuse where they're like, they're paying very exorbitant prices for their like their salons, their location, and all that. That is expensive. That's why they have to charge as much. But the one that breaks my heart, like the one that scatters my head, the one that drives me crazy, is where inexperienced people, people that they don't know what they're doing, go and they just open this salon and you're telling me you know it's one thing for you to call a price if you're going to call a certain amount for me you better be giving me that service like the service had better be worth it if you're going to be charging me a price that i would normally not pay and you're telling me that that's how much it is because you're in this particular location your service had better be worth it and that's my problem exactly it is not it is not worth the price i don't even know what i should do to do I don't know. Should I go for something bright? Let me let me try something bright. It's been a while. That's my problem. My problem is if you're going to call that amount, your service had better be worth it. Ah, I'm not doing <clears throat> the way this eyeshadow is going. It's looking like 2017 type of eyeshadow. That eyeshadow that I used to cover everywhere. I better go. Let me come and use brown to cover it up a bit because I don't want to look crazy. Crazy is what I'm not going to look. I don't want that. And when we are talking about that, as we're talking about those overpriced salons that offer nothing, like I've done my hair in so many, like in three places, and I'm like, why are you charging me this much for this rubbish service that you're giving me? Your train, your ordinary cornrows I've asked you to do, it will look crazy. Normally, that I will carry my cornrows for like two weeks. In one week, the cornrows are already, already looking like as if I've had this for 15 years. Like, I could actually do a video and be like, I'm taking now cornrows that I made two months ago, and somebody would believe me. But you just made it yesterday. And you're charging me this. Like, what, what they know how to do very well is to call price. They will open up. Eh, that's the price, ma. That's, that's what we charge over here. That's our rates. <laughs> And because I don't have a choice most times, I just have to do the thing. Even though I'm so angry and I'm so pissed. Because why are you charging me this much? I'll do it because I want I don't know. Guys, this eyeshadow is not eyeshadow anywhere I want. I'm gonna clean this stuff. I'm getting wipes to clean <laughs> this. So that's actually my problem. It's because I'm talking, this eyeshadow is coming out like this. <laughs> Let me clean with a big one. Don't want anything that looks crazy. I wanted to do something simple actually. Oh my god. I think it's back. So as I was just seeing your people. So that was my problem. They are overpriced and they don't give me the service. If you're overpriced and at least I would be like, that girl is expensive, but she knows her work. Ah. I'm the one that is in the wrong now. I don't have the money. I cannot afford to pay for your wonderful service. Not when the service is not wonderful and you want to charge me a very ridiculous amount you, you just sound like an arm dropper to me honestly you like in my mind i'm thinking you want to rip me that's what that's what is giving me like it's giving me vibes of this person is trying to rip me and i don't like it when i feel like somebody is going to cheat me or they want to cheat me that's, I hate that feeling so well, like I hate it very well. In the same breath, let's talk about the overpriced foods that are tasteless. You know, very aesthetically pleasing places with rubbish food. The food is, is looking fine, you know? the location that you're buying it is looking fine, you know? but put it to your mouth first. Eat it first, now, nah. like. Eat the thing, dear and tropics. <laughs> dear and put the food into your mouth. You would ask yourself why. You would prefer you took that your money, went out and you dashed it to somebody on the streets and they're like, thank you, God bless you. They will pray for you and you will do better in life than for you to eat some of the things that these people used to sell. But people buy it because they want to take fine pictures and I get it. I do. But I will not do it. <laughs> if your food does not make sense to me, I'm not going to be there because maybe unless maybe I'm trying to like start 
making those type of videos and then I'll troll it you. But I'll rather buy a drink. That I'm sure you're not the one for me eating it. Because if you cannot cook good food, it's better I buy a drink now. I'll buy a drink and I'll be sure. And I'll take the drink in peace. Now for me to go and pay you that ridiculous amount for food I will not eat. No. Another thing, another thing that I've seen in this Lagos is the hidden madness. Everybody's mad in one way or the other. You see somebody, they'll be wearing corporates, like they are dressed like there's nothing in this world that could ever drive them over the edge. They are looking so smart, they are looking so pretty. You will never believe in your mind. Like if somebody dashes the money and they tell you that this person has crazy, you will swear and say, ah, it's a lie. <laughs> But everybody in this place, they are mad in one way or the other. Like they have madness that they are hiding and waiting for you to show them. Because if you don't have a car and you have to get to work, you have to deal with all these drivers, right? You have to deal with these conductors and these ambulances on the road everywhere. But they are mad. Maybe you have to be mad. Like you have to be mad for you to survive now. So everybody used to carry their madness and put it in their pockets. So you yourself, you have to have a little bit of madness if you want to survive. You know, being exploited is one thing. When somebody is exploiting you, that's one thing. But like, somebody exploiting you and telling you you cannot do anything about it. That's the type you don't like. That's the type you don't want. So a lot of people are mad and I get it. <laughs> I understand it. Because you have to be mad if you want to survive. Because a lot of people are mad. So you have to have a little bit of madness to Match the madness, so everybody is gonna be alright. <laughs> now another thing I I did I saw it coming, but I didn't know it was as bad was traffic. Oh my god, the traffic here, the traffic is bad. It is bad. It is terrible. Let's just say the truth. If you lived in places like Enugu, Anambra, you will know that like this is crazy. You know when you can't go for two things in one day here. Yeah. No, you can't say I'm going to go to Sulere and from Sulere I will make it to uh, where will I say now? Mm, and I'll come to Aja or like you know like you can't plan things around like that. Why would are you are you traffic? Is traffic your mates? I don't understand like what's giving you the your shoulders are too high and I don't like it what's giving you the audacity to make that kind of plans it's like you don't know where you are <laughs> no no you can't make such plans you have to walk around traffic because you don't know the type you're going to meet you might even put your map and when you put the map and you wanted to go there was no traffic but before you reach or before on your way traffic will suddenly be there I think it's because of the roads, the way the roads are built, like it's just a one-way type of thing. You know that like if the roads are like diverse that if you don't follow, like if this place is blocked, you can easily divert to this other way or if this place is blocked. The roads are kind of like one way and you have it has to be this particular way that everybody is following and the tippers are on the road and the tankers are on the road and everything is on the road and all these things are on the road because it's that track. I think I don't know how if I'm liking this lip liner. It feels bold, but let's see if I like it. So this is all of the things. I think this is the ninth thing that I've said now. So I have one tip remaining. So I'm going to do my lips and I'll get back and tell you the last thing that I've seen in this place. I think I'm liking this makeup. I don't know, but I feel like I'm liking it. I feel like I'm liking the makeup. Now the last thing that I need to say that I've seen here or I've noticed here is if you are here to have fun, like if you want to like have fun, you are you are here to enjoy. People, I said people here can enjoy because you know when I told you that people here can hustle. Yes. So if you are done hustling from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday, or on your weekends, you don't play about them. Like you use you have to use your weekends. That's if you want to leave or, or you just want to walk, 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 walk and rest. No. But if you want to live and you're looking for places to have fun, there's a lot. As long as you have the money to spend. As long as, the only thing is, can you afford it? But as long as you have the money to spend on having fun, places for you to have fun is not a problem. I don't do blushes. I don't know if I should start doing blush. I don't know if I should incorporate doing blushes. But guys, what do you think about this makeup? I think I like it too. I, mean, I think it's nice. And my opinion, Holds number one. You know, my opinion is the number one. 
Um, I hope you like this makeup. I hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe. If you have more experiences, more things that you've seen here, like they were, that shocked you, that just took you off, leave a comment down there in the comment section. Let's read. Let me see if I'm the only one that thinks or sees things like this. Let me know. <laughs> so I enjoyed filming this video a lot. I did. I hope you did that too. Show me some love. Rate my makeup in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you like my eyeliner? Do you like the way the makeup turned out? Tell me. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm joking a lot. <laughs>